Hey guys, so what up here and welcome back to NASCAR Center 2004 for race 2536. We're going to Darlington today for the Southern 500. It's going to be a very long race, I would assume. So get some popcorn, get your juice boxes, get any sort of drinks you need. Even though I just said a, a drink, that's a juice box. Anyways, um, before we head into this, we're going to go into team management. Just to give you an update on what's been uh, going on in the garage because... Uh, if you didn't watch last race, I'm overhauling, I think, all of these. I think the chassis, the engine, and the body as well. So we're, you know, we're repairing the body, but we are overhauling, I guess, just the chassis. I guess we're repairing the engine and the body. But, yeah, we still got uh, two more races on the, the engine. So that's good because we definitely need an upgrade on the engine at least. So, yay. Anyways, that's really it for that. So, um, yeah, let's go to race weekend. Uh, quick select everything because there's only one thing open. We're gonna do that, and it's a car rating of 59, pretty solid. I think that's, uh, I think last race was a 59 as well, so that's pretty good. This, it's good. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, let's head into qualifying here at Darlington and see where we start in the race. Off a of turn four now. The first lap was a 28.8. Let's see what this one can be. It's going to be a 28.4. Yes, and it's 20th. Holy crap! All right, so not that bad actually. I'm pretty surprised with that. Um, I don't think we'll finish 20th, but we got our sponsor objective, so we just need to finish 30th or better here, and we'll see what happens. It's going to be a. Why do I burp so much? Oh yeah, I drink soda. But yeah, we're gonna see what happens. It's going to be a long race, so. We'll just uh, try to take it easy and uh, see what happens. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the race and see what happens. Tony Stewart and Jeff Gordon start up on the front row. Let's get this race going here. Three, two, one. Green flag style, we're underway here at the Southern 500 for 36 laps. Starting 20th on the outside, one gets the inside as soon as possible. So we're gonna kind of try to make our own room there to get to down to 20th and hold off uh, Jerry Mayville, I think it was, but. Like I said, it is a long race, so we'll try to be careful, not running, try not to run into people. And Nadu already kind of stopped randomly there, so that was a little bit weird. I do know the AIs, for whatever reason, get weird off of turn four in the first lap, I think. Because I think they make contact fairly often, so we'll see if that happens again. And I guess not, so uh, they uh, they gave me a curveball there. I was kind of expecting that a little bit, but we're going to go into one here off the track, get back on the track. Now we're going to hold on to 18th. I'm surprised we're even doing that well i mean the restart wise it was actually pretty good all things considered so i'm fairly shocked with that so all right so we're kind of in our own little bubble here let's just try to chill and uh see what we can do here we'll just try to race this uh, this track now for the next couple laps like it's qualifying Ooh, there's sparks up here and i'm gonna gain a bunch of spots I don't know what happened. I think Kurt Busch and Kenny Wallace got together. I feel like that might have been the second time those two have collided on the racetrack. But because of that little squirmish, I'm now in the P14. I'm really shocked with that. I <laughs> uh, Thank you, baby Jesus, for throwing me some good luck. Just to give you guys an update what's been going on. I've just been kind of by myself. I've been slowly but surely catching these guys up ahead of me here. But it's just been very, very gradual over the past couple laps. I've just been really trying to focus and concentrate because this game really warrants you just to, you know, shut the hell up and, you know, really focus on on playing the damn game because it's, it's you really have to concentrate and focus on hitting your mark because one little mistake or, you know, getting a Darlington stripe as it is here, it, it really can mess you up. And I'm trying to keep in that, that rhythm and everything. And because of that, it's been working. I'm in right up the back bumper of Elliott Sadler now. Um, when it comes to pitting, I will pit, and somebody blowing the motor up here, and that is Robbie Gordon I saw, so that's, you know, unfortunate. But, um, I was going to say, um, I will be pitting, but it's not going to be on lap 17 going in, in, into 18. It's going to be lap 18 going into 19. I know, it's crazy. I'm changing out my pit strategy by a whole lap, and I'm just throwing the universe out of whack, but... I think we're going to try it out and see what happens here. I think maybe it'll benefit us because we'll have at least one lap fresher tires. I don't know, but we're going to give it a shot here and uh, hopefully that'll work out. But 
I'm kind of stuck behind Elliot Sally here the past couple laps. Really haven't been uh, able to get really by him. Bobby Labonte has been slowly catching me lap after lap now, probably because I'm stuck behind some traffic here. But trying to get into one here yet again, try to coast it, get back in the gas. And we get the 13th spot over Elliot Sadler. That was a, a that was a progress in the making there. It took forever to get that to execute that pass, but this race is coming out fairly well. Even though I've gotten lucky, you know, and everything a few times because of people wrecking and all of that, but been able to maintain all this pace and everything. So the car has somewhat speed, which is something I'm not used to saying. So I'm trying to get used to it, but. Now we're right up the back bumper of Matt, uh, Matt Kenseth here going into two. We're trying to be careful because I know we can kind of like slide up the track just a little bit off of two. So I'm just trying to be careful. Again, this is a very long race, so I'm trying to think big picture wise. We're going in three yet again. And we we got a couple laps before we pit, so I don't know. I think if, if Bobby Labonte gets by us, I'm not going to really hold it against him because he seems to be much quicker than I am for some reason. Well, because he's in a better car and a better team. And this is the 2003 Bobby Labonte. Arguably the last year Bobby Labonte was really, really good. So, yeah. <laughs> we already got Matt Kenseth heading down pit road as well as a couple of other drivers. I did mess up turn three just a little bit, at least in terms of entering the corner. But it wasn't all too bad. We still got eh, maybe another lap or so until we pit. So just going to try to chill for now and uh, kind of hit our marks here because we've been doing a really good job. We have not scraped the wall or really haven't gotten anywhere near it in this race at all so far so that's really good considering how much a tire drop off and everything at this track is it's it can you know mess you up and it hasn't to me yet so very fortunate with that and we got Ward Burden heading down pit road is this if this race goes according to plan I can definitely get a top 15 at least so that, that makes me happy heading down pit road this time by 70 miles an hour is the pit speed limit a little bit hairy going into the pit stop, but it wasn't too bad. Our 16.9s, we get held up on pit road. That's our luck, of course. Anyways, let's click done and see what our pit crew can do in this stop. And it's a 17.0. I think it was about like one tenth off compared to the, the estimated time. But it looks like Bobby Labonte was the only one that got ahead of us down pit road. So that kind of sucks. But again, we could have lost way more spots. But we're just going to try to exit pit road here and hope nothing bad happens. Okay. Nothing bad happens. So that's a big that's a big help. We're in 23rd right now. Not too bad because it's staring over like, what, 13th or something before the pit stops uh, started. So... Not too bad, I think everybody still has to cycle through and everything, so we'll see where we kind of rack up here. I don't know if we'll gain any spots this lap or the next lap. Uh, looks like obviously by the leaderboard, probably next lap, as we get by Harvick, who was a position for the lead lap, and now, and now I'm in 21st. Hopefully, I don't lose a whole lot of spots. I do feel like we have a top 10 car, or not a top 10 car, a top 15 car at the very least, considering how we ran the first half and everything, so. I'm hoping that's the case. The car does have some actual pace, so I'm hoping we can, you know, nail a top 15. I'll be very, very satisfied with that if we can manage to pull it off. More cars are exiting pit road now. We're in 19th here. I think we still got more cars heading down pit road. And we got Kurt Busch right there. I think that might be it for this pit stops. I hope not, because that would kind of suck, considering everything that's been happening in the first half being so well. I don't know. We'll see. But... Yeah, okay, we're just gonna chill in 19th for now, alright, so, okay, okay. And it looks like pit cycles are over and I'm gonna be in 19th, which, that kinda sucks, considering we were 13th. Uh, and, and also Biffle holding us up down pit road didn't help as well as... Could be at least, like, 15th or something. Could it be at least around where Bobby Labonte is, and he's almost like a whole... Half a, half a, you know, entire straightaway ahead of me. So that, that kinda sucks, but... We're catching Benson here for 18th. He does seem to be dropping off the pace a bit now, so we should be able to get him hopefully soon. I'm, man, I was thinking, you know, if I was lucky, maybe I could have gotten a top 10. If um, pit stop went fine, there was no issues, but it just wasn't the case. But if we can manage a top 15, I'll be 
just as happy considering how what, what was last race freaking Bristol getting like 30th <laughs> or 29th so I'll, I'll definitely take this I'll take that I'll definitely be satisfied with this so let's try to just clear Benson here and just kind of chill because Jimmy's catching us now so no he's, he's a faster he has a faster car than we do so I mean we really got to try to get by Benson here and just kind of try to put a gap between him because I don't want to lose any more spots catching burden here just a little bit then surprisingly these some of these guys are actually starting to fall off the map here a little bit in terms of pace I don't know if it's just because of their tire wear or we actually have better tire wear than them I don't really know but we are catching burn here just a little bit Kurt Busch actually hasn't pulled away to us by a whole lot so I'm really surprised with that so we're going to go into one here to again let the car coast get the car to bite and now we're going to be almost side by side with them we're off the track almost trying to get the spot but he hangs on to it for now as we have a very very big lead over Johnny Benson and Jimmy Johnson which surprised me because Jimmy I think has fresher tires than we do so I don't know if Benson is holding holding him up that much or we just have that much pace on worn tires I don't really really know it is kind of weird I'm just I'm just so not used to it because some races were just terrible and other races were holding our own so I'm really surprised with that I'm trying to get by Burton here we peek on the inside here just a tiny bit Exit off at two. We're still side by side down the back stretch, and he pulls us just a little bit down here. I'm gonna try to get the inside of him going into three, but not quite. Eh, I don't know. We could maybe get a top 15 because Burton, Bush, Nadu, those guys up ahead are too far up there. So if we can just get by Burton, which he's given us a hell of a battle for this spot, mind you, but we're gonna go on a win off the track. We make slight contact. I think that's the first time I made contact with anything in this entire race, but it was for position, and we just got by him. Wasn't anything too bad, nothing damage to the car, maybe a little bit of a, a dent, but nothing too bad. We're going to break into three yet again and kind of hold our own. I'm very, very pleasantly surprised with the pace that this car has. I didn't think it will be catching cars, let alone I thought we have to be kind of trying to survive because the spring Darlington race was kind of like that where I was just so slow just trying to hang on. So I'm really surprised with how uh, well this car is handling it. We just need to bring it home and somewhat one piece as he almost ran the back of Kurt Busch. We have a couple laps left to go again. I do want to gain as much spots as I can, but I got to be smart with it. I don't want to wreck the car. As we have a very interesting five-way battle up here, so that's cute. And I think, and look at that, Bobby Labonte is right up ahead of us. Interesting, considering that he got out on pit road ahead of us by like half of, you know, the entire back straightaway was, it seemed like the difference is we're going three wide in the one, exiting two, but now it, it you know, patterns out, and now we're, just, now we're still too wide. This is really, really good racing for the back of the pack, I'll tell you. Oh my god, please don't hit Nadu. Don't magnetize with them. Oh my god, that was close. That was very, very close. Just bring it home, what if? Get Kurt Busch's draft, get away from him. Nadu, can you give me the bottom? No? Okay. And can we hang on on the outside? Can we clear him? Can we clear him? Yes, we do. Whew, okay, that was a little bit hairy. Maybe I am pushing the car a bit too much, but goddammit, it's the end of the race. And the white flag's out one more time for the leader. It could be Tony Sir, because he was on the pole, or Jeff Gore, because he was second. And we're heading into turn three. This will be the white flag for us now. Can I get by Elliot Sauer for 15th? Elliot Sauer has been losing pace a lot in the second half of the race, it seemed like, so maybe I can get by him. We're going to try, try to take it very easily going into one, and we clear him for 15th spot, which I'm I'm almost about to knock tables over because I'm very ecstatic with that. And that could be Mike Skinner for a position as well. Might not have enough time to catch him, but we're going to try going into three one more time. We dive it down low, and we get right in the back bumper room of him. I wish I didn't do that. And we exit four. Oh, no, 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 go, 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 go. Mike Skinner, I hate you. I hate you. You're the top 15. Fuck. I shouldn't have pushed that much at the end. Oh, my God. I thought it was going to be a DNF right there. That scared me. Okay. Basically, we, we finished where we started, which that's pretty sad. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Let's see what our points are. Mike Skinner, I think, was for position, I think, wasn't it? Junior wins the race. Interesting. And Stewart got fourth. So Junior gains more on Stewart in the points. 
And Skinner wasn't even for fucking position. Oh my god, I didn't have to push it. Fuck. Okay, I'm, I'm, ah, oh, that's frustrating. Yeah, top 15 car. Top 15 car, we fucking blew it on a lap traffic. I thought it was for position. What was it, like 40th? 41st. Fuck me, man. I could have avoided that so easily. <sighs> Anyways, we got 1.2 million. That's that's awesome, but we can't really do anything with it right now. But let's get out of here. I'm I'm just so disappointed. Well, next race is Richmond, and then after that, we well now we got 11 races left to go. But fuck, I'm just so just mad. I'm really mad at myself. Just. Well, anyways, with Junior winning again today, he does gain. 10 points on Stewart, which is interesting, because I thought he was like 111 points back. And if Junior won the race, and if Stewart led the most laps, then Junior should have gained at least 20 points, but I don't know. Anyways, Junior got what? His ninth win of the season, Jesus Christ. Where, were, where will we be in points, though? 25th, we're two points back from Ward Burton. Damn, we got 15th? And gave five more spots. That would have been an extra 15 points. That would have been. That would have put us 52. So it would have put us 23rd. Damn, that would have been our highest, our highest points position probably since maybe like Rockingham, I think. So that that kind of sucks, but oh uh, man. Well, at least our car has pace for the first time, so that's good to hear. So all right, so. Anyways, let's look at team management, check our garage here. We got still stuff, some, you know, still being built, repaired, and all that it's jazz. And I think the shop additions, the chassis shop will come on one more race, so that'll basically come at the end of Richmond, so that's that's awesome. Alright, so that's really it for this video. Felt kind of uh, long at times, and nothing much happened at times, but it was really good racing there. Five car battle for like 15th there, or whatever, it was good. Good shit, just made a stupid mis mistake. Anyways, um, that's it for this video. I'll see you all at Richmond. Like I always say, I do appreciate love, feedback, and support. All you guys give me in the comment section below, and as well as liking the video, because it helps me out a lot in the long run. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next race at Richmond. And as always, have a good day, everyone.